Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Loki16 here, and welcome back to a, oh my gosh, another episode in our Let's Play Minecraft. I think the last episode didn't go quite well, but it was compatible enough for uploading, so I decided to upload it anyway, so. Yeah, in this episode, I'm actually in Dumbledore's office, in case you don't know. Yeah, it's a bit laggy, but. actually get the experience of oh wow that's right the staircase goes quite a ways I saw that it goes really far down to like the bottom floor it took me like nearly five minutes just going up those set of stairs Actually, no, I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, there's a phoenix bird, like, known as Falx. Don't want to say it wrong, or else... Something bad will happen. Anyway, I think I've shown you this before. That is the Great Hall. Yeah, this is actually the whole Hogwarts. This did include the room requirement, in fact. What I'm about to do, I'm going to put four colored beds, and I'm going to go and correct every last one of them. They're no longer accurate. So, we're going to start in the Hufflepuff. The Hufflepuff. So, yeah, here's the Hufflepuff dormitories. We're going to start with the boys' dormitory. And that is going to be yellow, be despite that Hufflepuff is yellow. This is going to be easy. Easy peasy here. So yeah, the last episode, I was not in a good mood. But, I did keep control of the language. Because I don't want to be cursing on my last place. Or else I will be re-recording that. Basically, the re-recording in the Super Mario Galaxy series was not cursing. Basically, there was a ton of interruptions, which... Interruptions do cause a lot of problems. You know, I was pretty much enraged in that episode. I believe it was part 14 of that Mario Galaxy Let's Play. Why I decided to start over. Yeah, in the Pocket Edition world, the one I showed in the last couple episodes ago, actually, um, they had the colored beds all set up. And that guy probably used, the person who created it might use Windows 10. Because I could barely navigate. In Pocket Edition, there's no spectator mode. And I have no skill in Yeah, the Hufflepuff is done. I'm gonna take out the ones. The red beds I'm probably not gonna need because Gryffindor, Tower, who cares? It's already done for you. Yeah, I just need to take care of Ravenclaw and Slytherin beds. So basically, we're doing like quick maintenance and stuff. Whoa, you've gone way too high. Whoops, where am I going? So anyway. Are you insane right now? Arts oh, yeah, now this is the dungeons. What's that? No, <laughs> don't tell me. Okay, I've been down here before, actually. Actually, no. Actually, what I meant to say was, that's not the way to go. 
And that's not the way to go either. What is my afternoon going up to? Mondays are just... There's redstone here. Yeah, basically this is the sliver and common area. Where it's, it looks a bit different than what I've seen in like the previous episodes with the previous Hogwarts show. Thing. But it doesn't look that bad. So let's replace all those beds with green. Because sliver and green. Therefore this is gotta be green. Sliverins are green, therefore, um, the color must match. I must not laugh about that, because I'm going through both dormitories as well, like the men's dorm at, the um, gentlemen's, but the ladies as well. I'm just changing the color of the beds here. Because of the update 1.12, added the option of colored beds, and I believe this world was made in a much earlier version, which is why you have to load in 1.12 first, or else it's going to corrupt. Oh, I thought these areas were alike. Wait a second. Are you serious? What is this room? I don't understand. Sometimes I just don't understand. Game's not... What the heck? That's probably Hagrid. That's probably Aragog. That's probably Aragog. So anyway, now, we're done with the Slytherin Chamber. I mean, not the Slytherin Chamber, that's, no. I, I, did I say Chamber? I didn't, I was not referencing for the Chamber of Secrets. I was referencing for the Slytherin Tower. I mean, the Slytherin Dungeon. Anyway, let's actually cheat ourselves upwards. Okay. Yes, this is the right way. And I know where to go now. So yes, this is the Ravenclaw Tower. Not as gloomy as the Slytherin Dungeons. No, pretty risky place. Risky looking bedrock on the walls. Like, who cares? I don't like the color, the look of bedrock. It has like a terrifying color, like it's the end of the world, like you're about to fall off, fall out of the world or something. Yeah, anyway, perfect, this does match. Yeah, I wonder if I could use concrete. I'm actually going to use spectator mode and go around. Anyway, I was looking at that case spider egg down in the dungeons, and I was like, Is that Aragog? But anyway. I guess that was it for the, um... Not the episode. The episode's not even done yet. See what we're looking at. 3.32. And I don't remember. I need to start timing my recordings. Because sometimes I just don't pay attention. To when I start my recordings. Because that's going to get really crucial. Okay, no Aragog. Aragog died in 1996. So, there's nothing we need to worry about. 
Wait, did I say 1996? I meant 1997. It's like I confused the Garden of Eden and the Garden of Eve and something. Somewhere like that. Such confusion. But there is something I want to talk about. I thought that was the prefix bathroom right there, but it turned out it wasn't. Oh, they turned the building. Yeah, this building had a lot more detail. Yeah, this building has lots of detail. Here's a tower. There's a divination classroom. Looks like divination. I think defense against the dark arts classroom might be in one of these towers. Wait, what's that over there? Is that defense? That is. That is defense against the dark arts classroom. You know, I thought it was on the first... Oh wait, that was the modified version of Hogwarts. That was the pocket edition. That's... That looks more like the Deathly Hollows Part 2, especially the Grand Staircase, if you look at it from the film perspective in the film series. Look at it from perspective. Are they seriously all the same? Hope not. This place does look a bit dark, but anyway, let me try adding on some... Oh, that's right. Resource packs don't, don't work. Especially moss. I'll try it anyway. And I probably might change things around. And it does look a bit terrifying, but... Dukukraft FYRE UK is the name of the developer that did that. Actually, I'll be right back. I'm going to try and make some adjustments to this. So anyway, I'm going to stop the recording. And then I'm going to make some adjustments and then I'll be back. Yeah, you have to copy exactly that or it's not going to work. It used to go by the old format, but now it's wanting you to go by what they have now, which I'm pretty annoyed about. This looks like that looks a lot more like Hogwarts now. A lot more medieval. You no, know, it's going to act up for a little bit, but it won't matter. The wood is what's the problem. Anyway, you can see here. I'm going to credit to um, Fear UK. So you don't know who that is. They made it onto the Minecraft Handbook Guide. And basically, I won't leave a download because of copyright infringement. But you can download it from their site. You can download it from their site, but you have to edit the data tags if you want to play it in the latest snapshot. And look at some of these. Those don't look, do not look like Hogwarts pictures, but... I want to picture the fat lady on one of the projectiles, known as the paintings. Not projectiles. This actually looks like Hogwarts. Now we're going to look at Viaduct Bridge. Look at that. This looks intense. This looks like that. what could be made into the Harry Potter films. And yet, the Grey Hall. We're actually going to zoom up. This looks intense. What do I look like, huh? Let's look in the great sta grand staircase. This actually looks like Hogwarts. This is Hogwarts. I know, sorry for about the copyright, but I will give credit to that in the video description. But if you download it and play it in the latest snapshot, you do have to change some data tags. 
and yeah, to like use every and H as you see here for advanced tooltips, which will help you when you're trying to change the work on the, edit the resource packs for the latest snapshot. So anyway, I think we got a few minutes left. Anyway, let's do explore this castle. It does have its own hospital wing. Look at the prefix bathroom. As Cedric Diggory would pronounce the prefix bathroom. P but it's actually pronounced as perfect. So anyway, I guess we'll end the episode right here. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody.